Welcome back nerds, worm addicts. <laughs> so today is day three, well episode three of Project Looty Break. We're still out searching for new species of course. Last episode was amazing. If you guys missed that, well shame on you, unsubscribe immediately. But if you didn't miss it, we saw some awesome new species in the last time. As well as some really cool ones that we've seen before. Shout out to Damron from Sea Explorers. Awesome dive guide here. One of the best critter finding guys. I don't know how he's seen it, dude. I mean, I don't even know the name of that. He just said it was a coincidence because he was checking out another neuter bank, which was kind of... Way more colorful, easy to see. Yeah. And then he's like, oh, what's that moving around? Because even when you were filming it, I couldn't see it. I was like, why are you filming dirt? <laughs> and then I knew it was good because he's filming nothing. <laughs> so awesome. And now we are at Talisai on the Pura Vida dive boat. And who knows? We always see something good here. It's a solid dive site, very close to uh, Pura, maybe a one minute boat ride. Yeah. And we always see something here. Not much reef or anything. This is a quintessential muck diving location. Lots of dead, uh, what do you call it? Stumps, logs, old abandoned traps. We always see something cool here. Yeah. So let's see if we can find a new species Wait, for Project Nudie. How many are we up to? Four, maybe? Four. So, yeah. three dives, four new species. No, no, two dives. Two dives. Two dives, four new species. Counting to 50. Yeah. It's gonna be awesome. We're gonna get the 50 on this dive, I think. Then we release the book. <laughs> <laughs> Man, if we release the book right now, it'd be awesome. So imagine 50 new species. Good ones, though. We're yeah. not gonna put like uh, mediocre ones. Yeah, really good ones. Yeah, really good shots. Uh, wait, I'm gonna put the, I'm gonna put your photo of the one we saw on the last episode, on the last dive, of that poly branch thing. Crazy. It's gonna be awesome. Awesome. Check this out. So, anyways, let's get in the water. Well, today on our dive map, we get to add Talisai. It's a great little dive site, so let's go check it out. So I think this little dude is probably one of my favorite critters that I've found so far. He's so hilarious looking. I'd like to say this is a new species for Project Nitty Brink, but it's not. I found him one other time on one dive in front of Finn's house. We found a whole colony of them. And I remember when it was the first time, I thought these guys were hilarious. And they still are. It looks like one of those dudes that kidnaps princesses and fights Mario. Bowser, I think his name was. <laughs> Mario Brothers villain. And here's two more. I don't know how my guide found them. They're so tiny out in the sand. But I got to play with the snoot from my Orca Torchlight. And these guys, they got pretty good shots. Really good color, looks clear, looks like there's no water at all, and that's what I like. It's a pretty good dive so far. So this next duty, you guys have probably seen a million times. I don't know what the real name is, I'd have to look in the book, but I call him the Panda Nudie. These guys are all over and super common. But you can always rely on them being really cool looking. And when the light hits their butt feathers, that purple glowy color, it looks awesome. And then of course they have the black spots and the purple rhinophores. You see these often, but it's hard not to film them still. Now I promise every critter on this video isn't going to be a flatworm or a nudie. But you don't want me to pass them up, do you? This is a cool little dude, and I've filmed a lot of species that are really similar to this, and this one could be a new one. I'm not going to count it as a new one because I'm really not sure if it is. 
It looks like the same species that I filmed before, but just different colors on the edge and more of an orange instead of yellow. But I'm not going to name it for now. It's just way too hard to find out if this is the same species or not. But either way, it looks awesome and I love how they slither around in the sand and how flat they are. These guys are pretty hard to find, but when you do, they're even harder to film. But this guy's pretty cool. And here's a non nudie break. This is a cool little blinny. You guys love these guys and you want me to make episodes all about gobies and blinnies, but I don't see them every day. And I haven't put together enough footage to make an, their own episode yet. But these guys are so funny because they always live in these little tubes and they always can be seen poking out. And I was actually waiting for Phil to stop filming this little loony so I could do it. But then this guy was right next to it so I filmed him instead. <laughs> Such a cute little guy. And here's that loony that I was waiting for Finn to get. And it turned out to be a bust. I barely even got to film him because he was just so tiny. I couldn't get it good. But this loony was a different story. I've seen this one quite a few times now. But I remember the first time we found it. It was at our favorite dive site called Malatapai. And we were pretty amazed how hilarious this guy looks. He actually kind of looks like that first critter that I showed you in this episode, but it's not. It's also a sap-sucking sea slug though, kind of like a leaf sheep, but this is way bigger than a leaf sheep. It's probably a centimeter long. And then check this guy out. This is a shrimp, but one of the weirdest shrimps I've ever seen. He looks like a U. Now I didn't get great footage, but I think you guys want to see this anyways. It's so hilarious. I have no idea what species this is, so if you guys tell me down below what species this is, if you go find out for me, then you get double points. Maybe I'll even pin your comment and you let me know what species this is because it's certainly unique the first time I've seen it. <laughs> I mean look at those little horn things that go all the way back to its tail and his back is arched. Such a weird dude. And here's a crown of thorns and it's actually pretty tiny. These guys are obviously invasive when there's too many of them around on a reef. Because as you know, they like to sit on a hard coral and just suck up the polyps. Essentially killing it. You can see them doing that right here. But luckily he's a tiny species. And we don't really have a crown of thorns problem here in Darwin. You know, they do have their place in the food chain. And there's just not too many of them to be invasive yet. Wow, so another new species for Project Looney Break in our book. One that we haven't filmed or photographed before. So this guy, I don't know, is it rare? Or have we just not been lucky enough to see it yet? I have no idea. So some photographers in town say, oh, this species is rare. Other ones say ones we found are rare. It's just all a matter of luck. Some are common, some are not common, who knows? But this is an awesome addition to the book. And I have to say, identifying it is not that easy. There's a lot of this kind of species in the scientific Looney Break ID book that we have, that we use for reference. And I'm pretty sure we finally found this one. It's called the Decorata. But there's lots of these hyper... Hypsidello... Well, this species in the book. So, it's going to be an awesome addition to our book once it's finished and another one crossed off the list. So I know I touched on it a little bit, but there is actually a quite a few of these species in my science books and online. So it was kind of hard to find the exact name, but I think we found the right name and it's definitely gonna be in our book. And again, I don't know why this is the first time we found it. Sometimes other photographers say this is a common one, and others say they've never seen it. So it's just a matter of luck. Some that we think are common, other guys haven't seen it at all. So it's just strange how this stuff works. I'd love to know migration patterns and stuff like that. If 
you know, if there's any Looney Break experts out there. But even then, I think it's different by region. It's just weird that some dive sites, we see certain Looney's. At other dive sites, we see different Looney's, even if they're right next to each other geographically. There's so much to know and learn and things that I don't know and maybe nobody knows about nudibranch species and flatworms and all that. I just have fun going out every day filming a different species to show you guys and learning something for myself. And I also love how colorful these guys are and how they're not really camera shy. They're just the perfect little subjects. So here we are at the end of the dive, about to get back onto the boat. It's such a great dive and I'm glad you guys got to join us. Of course, we also got to cross off a new species from the list, the Hypceladorus decorata. And if you guys have been following along, this is a great project. So make sure to subscribe and we'll see you on the next one.